Hi everybody, my name is Frank and today I'm going to paint a portrait of a female face and this is going to be, it's just going to be a study that I'm going to do for a larger painting. So here I'm just going to paint the face and this uh, study is going to be done in water soluble oil paint which are these right here and the brushes. And I'm going to be painting this on um, canvas paper. It's, I, okay, it's this paper right here. And it, you can use it for acrylic and oil. It's a very thick paper, it's 136 pound. And that's what I like to use for just doing my studies. Also, if you need help on drawing the face, I did this book right here. And it's called The Lost Art, How to Draw Fantasy Female Faces. And this one's volume two. And in here it shows you how to draw the face, different proportions, different um, views of the face. So I'm gonna get started right now. I'm going to use um, this color here, which is burnt sienna. I'm gonna use that as the middle color. And then I'll be using this one, which is burnt umber for the darker areas and then I'll be using titan titanium white for the white areas. Okay and first first thing you want to do oh I've already done the drawing in ink in case I didn't mention that I just do outline it all the lines and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically apply the paint um, on the contour, sort of, sort of like a contour, just around the lines here. And for this, I'm gonna, I'm only going to do the face. I'm not gonna worry the worry about the other, other parts because it's just a study. Basically, I just want to see how the paint behaves, how I can handle it. And this, like I said, this is water soluble oil paint. It does dry a little bit faster. I say that it starts to dry within 24 hours after you put it on. I would say probably like eight hours after you put it on, it starts to dry, but it won't completely dry. But if you do a painting and then uh, you try to go back and paint the same area again 24 hours later, the paint's gonna be a little bit thick because it's starting to dry. And what happens is it'll start to like scrape off if you, if you try to rework that area or repaint some more. So I would suggest that you paint the one section, whatever section you're painting on, try to finish that section or do as much work as you can in one sitting. For instance, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the face and try to do as much as I can to complete the face, which is the one section of this of this painting, before I go on and 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 do the rest of it. But I would suggest you work in in sections because the paint, uh, since it's water soluble oil, does tend to uh, dry a little bit faster. I know regular oil paint will take probably a week. I mean, you can paint it and then come back a week later and the paint is still just like you left it. And here I'm using this color all along the, uh, basically the shaded areas of the face. I'm gonna go here on the eye, on the eye sockets along the nose and the lighting on this particular piece is going to be like coming from the bottom and this side here is going to be in heavy shadow so the lighting on this this particular piece is a bit more trickier and then when you switch colors 
Okay, I've got most of it done there, most of the color that I want to use. Apply your 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 main color that you're gonna be using on all the areas. Once you got that, then you're gonna you can wipe off the paint since it's um this is water soluble. You can either dip uh, rinse your brush with water if you want to do that. What I do is I just get a rag, wipe off, wipe off the excess color like that, and then I dip my brush into the next color that I'm going to use, which is um, which is this color, which is burnt umber. I'll be using that for the slightly darker areas. And I'm just going to go around here really lightly, right here to where it's going to be darker. Mainly this color is going to be used on her, on the deep shadows like underneath her chin. But on this one, right here she just has a little bit of shadow, or it's not too intense. So I'll just sort of outline the, the chin just a little bit. Maybe a little bit underneath the mouth. And uh, on her eye sockets, on the other upper part of her eye socket right there. And on this one, and I think that's about all the color that I'm gonna put there. And then go ahead and blend these in. And you see that the blending, really cool with the oil. You can really blend it in so you can work on it all in one sitting, you can do this Blend in your color. And really practice. That's why I like to do these studies because it really allows you to practice your technique without doing it on your larger piece of work. And then, like I said, I wipe off the excess paint. Wipe it off really good. And I'm gonna use white my white paint, mix it in. And when you add the white, it really makes the uh, the other paint smooth. Something about the white paint has a very smooth texture to it. And when you mix white with the other colors, it makes those colors work really smooth, that paint go really smooth. Because some of the colors, depending on what color you're using, in this medium, which is water soluble oils, some of the colors are very thick and very, they don't um, flow as nicely as some of the other colors. But the one that flows the nicest is the white. I, I found that the white color really, you can really work with it. It just really flows in really nice to the paint and your brush strokes, you can really work with it. And when you mix it in with the other colors, the other colors will take on that texture of be, being able to flow really nicely. However, it does dull. It will make the paint a little bit duller. If you don't, if you want your colors to be like extra vibrant, then try not to mix too much white into them. But as you can see, it does, it gives it a really smooth, smoothness to the entire, to the entire piece. I'm going to work the nose area. Like you said, I did all the line work. And then for the nose, I tried not to put very much line work in here. Because I, I knew I'm going to use mostly the paint, uh, the light and dark of the paint to define the nose, to bring out the nose. So when you do the nose, use very little line work and then you want to use the, the different colors, different shades of the paint to bring out the nose. Okay, we're gonna do all of this here. And like I said, the light the light on this piece is a little bit trickier. Would have been better if I had used a more simple, a more simple lighting 
um, this for the demonstration. But right here, as you can see, um, and what I like about this paper is that you can turn it around, you can switch any direction that you want to paint in. And I'm the type of person that I like to just paint all over. Um, and if you're painting on canvas, you can't do that. You, you know, you have a set location, a set position where you're gonna use. But this is my study and the, the actual piece that I'm gonna do is, will be on a canvas. And it'll just be on unstretched canvas because I like to work on, on just a plain canvas and then once my painting is finished, I'll just stretch it, put the stretcher bars and all of that. I don't like to use a stretched canvas to paint on. Something about that is too restrict restricting for me. Okay, we're going in there, doing all the blend work. Like I said, the blending is really nice really easy to work with. Don't be afraid to go into the other to the other color area, the darker color blend it in. And then my nose area. Her nose is really going to be a bit tricky on this one. But you'll see the finished piece, the lighting on it is going to be, the lighting is sort of going to be coming from the bottom. So. And th there basically you have, you've finished, I have finished this area, which is the face, the tones on the face, the skin tones and all that. And then I'll go back and do the eyes, the mouth, and all those are separate areas, which I could do them right now, but I just don't have time in this video. I only get a few minutes, so thanks for watching, and I'll do another video soon. Bye-bye.